name is Carl Pearson. I'm a lawyer, and I defend foreclosure actions. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you what every state legislator in the United States should be doing right now to help their homeowners in distress. I call this video State Bailout for Homeowners. The banks have bought off Congress, so homeowner relief cannot be expected from the United States of banks. So let's see what the states can do instead. Send a link to this video to all of your state representatives and ask them for this obvious state bailout program for homeowners in distress. A little background. You have to know several things before I can tell you what should be done. The first is that usury for the longest period of time was regulated by the states, each state having its own usury law. At the time, each state had its own banks, and the banks were not permitted to open up in other states, so that Citibank and Chase, for example, were New York banks, and they were not permitted to open up in other states, so that Citibank and Chase were uh, not there in these other states, and other banks were opened and operating instead. But the banks paid off various legislators and obtained changes in law permitting banks to open up in other states. And then the banks started using states for credit cards that allowed the highest interest and imposed this high interest on credit cards um, holders in each state, even though the laws of 48 states, the rates were usurious and illegal. A federal case held that the states could not regulate mortgage or credit card interest of the national banks and credit card companies, which means that the banks and their credit card operations are free to charge any interest they want for mortgages and credit cards without violating any usury laws. And this is where we are today, where the states are forbidden from regulating interest rates of mortgages and credit cards issued by the large national banks and other national financial institutions. This so-called preemption of regulation of usury has not been imposed on the state foreclosure laws requiring that certain procedures take place before a homeowner can be thrown out of his home by the bank with its usurious or even non-usurious mortgage loan on occasion. Thus, even though the mortgage loan is usurious, the bank still has to comply with state laws relating to the foreclosure process. In New York, banks often have to wait two years or more between the date of last mortgage payment and the date at which the homeowner is finally evicted from his or her home after foreclosure, sale, eviction proceedings, and sometimes bankruptcy proceedings. The homeowner would not have to pay the monthly mortgage of, say, $3,500 during this long period while continuing to occupy or rent the house during this period. It might cost the homeowner $500 in legal expenses each month, and the $3,000 in savings could then be used to repay the homeowner's credit card obligations or student loans, for example. This would be a saving of 24 times $3,000 or $72,000 during the two-month period, that during the two-year period. Some states do not have a foreclosure action process, and it is these states in which the legislators have the most to do. States such as California, Nevada, Arizona, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and you can look at, up the various states in realtytrack.com. These states have a non-judicial foreclosure proceeding in which the bank merely sells the property without any court review or court judgment of foreclosure and then gets an eviction order to compel you to leave the bank's property. The legislators as a bailout plan for its residents and to preserve the well-being of homeowners in the state should immediately enact mortgage foreclosure requirements as well as insolvency laws that allow homeowners the protection of a foreclosure action or even a compromise with creditors to assert their claims, offsets, and affirmative defenses against the bank and to be able to bind the bank to a reduction of the mortgage amount 
so that the mortgage is no more than the value of the property with the right of the homeowner to own or rent the property based on actual market and rental values. This would be skinning the fat cat banks in a different way. Even though the states can't regulate the interest rate, they can stop the taking of property without due process, as enunciated by each state separately, and give the homeowners a chance to assert their claims, offsets, and defenses against the bank, including the defense, for example, that the bank doesn't have the original note and mortgage uh, in a foreclosure action before any sale of the property is to take place, if at all. Legislators who propose and back this type of legislation will be the bailout heroes to homeowners, assuming the homeowners also understand that to take advantage of foreclosure statutes, they have to defend a foreclosure action promptly when it is commenced, instead of letting the action go by default. Bankruptcy today is not the remedy for homeowners. It might be if the large banks and their highly paid lobbyists with pockets full of campaign money for cooperative U.S. Senators permit the Obama administration to have a law giving bankruptcy judges the power to cram down a modification agreement to reduce the bank's interest rate and outstanding principal amount of the mortgage and some huge default rate of interest to eliminate that. If homeowners knew about the hidden equity in their home, the $72,000, even though it is underwater, that is, worth less than the amount owed to the bank, they would invite foreclosures, stop paying their mortgages, spend two years in the property while exercising their property interest in that hidden property interest, and pay off their credit card loans in the process and use some of their savings to buy a lower-priced home at auction at a low distress level price. If you have any questions about this, please give me a call. There isn't going to be any relief for homeowners unless the, re unless the relief comes from your state legislators. Get on the ball and help to make this happen in the non-judicial foreclosure states and help to amend the existing foreclosure laws in the judicial foreclosure states such as New York <coughs> and <coughs> Florida <coughs> and help uh, to give homeowners an equal opportunity in court to deprive the bank of their us usurious profits. If you are interested in discussing your own situation, please give me a call at 212-307-4444. And here's my website and my phone number. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.